Okay, good afternoon, class. Right. Uh, so today, uh, we will continue. Okay, on chapter five. Okay, so before uh, I continue, okay, so uh, if you notice, I uh, already assigned. Okay, I already assigned a uh, assignment. Okay, uh, an exercise for you in the Google Classroom. Okay, so I will explain first about the exercise that I give. Okay, so for this exercise, okay, for this exercise, what I want you to do, uh, you can print or if you can, don't have a printer, you can write the answer in the test pack, okay. And then uh, after you finish answer, uh, please uh, snap a picture, okay, and uh, change the format to PDF, okay. So you can use your phone, okay, and you can download the cam scanner. Okay, so in the uh, when you can use the apps to change uh, the image to PDF. Okay, after you change to PDF, then you turn in to me. Okay, so this uh, due date I give until tomorrow, uh, until 12, okay, 12 p.m. Alright, so this is the exercise that I gave in the Google Classroom. So how you want to answer, you just put the, if you, do, if you don't print, if you don't have a printer at home, okay, you just write 1A. What's the answer? 1B, what's the answer? No need to copy back the question. And for number two, you just put what is the three answer, okay, in the blanks, okay. So then after that, you snap the picture, change to PDF, and then turn in DC, okay. So there are six pages here, okay. So uh, we continue, okay, on chapter five today. Okay, thermal chemistry. So, uh, this chapter is very uh, short chapter. Okay, so we can finish uh, today, right? So, thermal chemistry. So, what is actually a thermal chemistry? Okay, so thermal chemistry is the study about heat changes. Okay, during chemical reaction. Okay, so when you react a chemical reaction, whether let's say uh, natrium hydroxide with water. Okay, so let's say it release the heat. Okay. So, means that is the thermal chemistry, okay, whether the heat is released or heat is absorbed, okay, during the chemical reaction. Okay, heat change in the chemical reaction. So, heat or energy change occurs in the most of the chemical reaction, okay. So, mostly if you react with, uh, chem uh, with something uh, chemical, okay, that will produce a heat or will absorb heat. Okay, so uh, between the uh, between absorb or release, okay, the heat. So when a chemical reaction occurs, heat is absorbed or released. Okay, so example, let's say if uh, when the ice melting, okay, so when the ice melting, the heat is absorbed. So when the heat is absorbed, we call it as a endothermic reaction. Okay, so later we explain what is the endothermic and exothermic. So that is the example. Okay, so the heat absorbed to break the bond in the compound. So conversely, heat is released when the bond is formed. So what does it mean by this? Okay, so you know that solid, right? So let's say uh, if I took just now, the example is ice to uh, liquid, okay? Water, right? Water. Okay, so let's say if ice to water, so you already know ice is in the solid form, okay, while water is a liquid form. So how is the arrangement of the molecule inside of the solid? So solid, the arrangement of the molecule is very close to each other, okay, it's like this. Okay, while water, right, there's have a distance, okay. There are distant and another one they say is changed from water to gas. Okay, so this one is a water vapor. Okay, so gas, the distance is much further. Right, so uh, from ice to water, you already know that you need to heat up the ice. Okay, you need to give the heat energy to the ice. So it can, uh, it can change from solid to liquid. So, from this one is absorbed, right? You, the heat is absorbed. Okay. So, you can see why it is said that it break the, the energy is used to break the 
bond between the molecule. So you can see here from the ice, okay, from the arrangement of the molecule of ice, this very close to each other. So the energy is used to break the bond. Okay, so it can be freely moved like this. All right, and then from the water to gas, okay, okay, so there is a force of attraction between the bond. So the energy again will be absorbed. Okay, so that energy is a heat energy. So the heat energy also will be absorbed. So it will break the bond, so it will move more freely. Okay, in the gas. So that's what does it mean by it, the energy absorbed to break the bond between the molecule. Okay, so let's say if uh, gas change to water. So you already know this one uh, is the process of condensation. Okay, so this one you need to form the bond. Okay, you need to form the bond okay, from the gas to liquid. Okay, so for this one, Okay, then energy will be released. Okay, the energy will be released. Okay, so it can form a bond between a molecule. Right, so I hope you understand. Again, same like this one, the energy being released. Okay, so it can form a bond to change to solid. Okay, so me, it will, uh, it will be more closer to each other, the molecule. Okay. All right, so that's the explanation for this one. Okay, chemical reaction can be classified into two types. Okay, so exothermic and endothermic. So the one that I, I explained just now about the heat absorbed and also the heat release, okay. So either then to one we call it as an exothermate and another one we call it as endothermate. Okay, so we will see which one is actually exothermate and which one is the endothermate. Okay, so the chemical reaction are applied in the making of hot and cold packs. Okay, so let's say uh, if, you if you have an injury, okay, let's say you take part in the uh, sports, okay, and they say uh, you have an injury, right, so swollen, Okay, so you have to put the cold pack. Uh, so that's the function of the cold pack. Okay, so that one using the exothermic or endothermic reaction. Okay. All right, the first one is the exothermic reaction. So exothermic reaction is a reaction that releases heat to the surrounding. Okay, it releases heat to the surrounding. So when this reaction occurs, all right, the reactant will lose heat to the surrounding. So, since the heat released from the reactant to the surrounding, the surrounding temperature is raised. Okay, so exothermic means release heat. Okay, so it will release heat uh, to the surrounding. Okay, as uh, example, if you're burning a fuel, okay, so you will feel hot, right? Okay, so the surrounding of the area will be hot. So, that one is release heat. So, we call it as a exo thermic okay exothermic so means out okay go out okay endo means in okay so that is the exothermic so the contents in the container become hot so as a result the container also feel hot when touch or shows a higher temperature when measured with a thermometer okay so let's say if you put a thermometer in the liquid okay and the liquid is actually in the exothermic reaction so the temperature will rise, okay, to show there is a uh, heat being released, okay. So the total energy content of the product is less than the total energy content of the reactant, okay. So means because the energy being released to the surrounding, so means there will be the loss of heat energy. So that's why it said it's less than the, uh, less than the content of the reactants. Okay, it means uh, before and after, so after the temperature will be higher, okay, because there will be a heat energy being released, okay, after the reaction. So, example of the exothermic reaction, such as a burning of pepper, okay, explosion of a bomb, okay, and dissolving the sodium hydroxide pellets in water. Okay, so later we see a video, right, uh, actually how does 
uh, whether to uh, the experiment, right? The experiment to show that actually when the sodium hydroxide or any other uh, chemical, okay, reaction, okay, that will produce the exothermic reaction, okay. So this is the example of the exothermic reaction: burning of paper, explosion of bomb, okay, and dissolving sodium hydroxide pellets in water. Okay, so this is another example. Okay, firecrackers. Okay, creation of bomb. Okay, burning of paper, and addition of natrium hydroxide to water. Okay, so the mixture is carefully stirred to dissolve the pellets, and when you, uh, measure the temperature. Okay, you can see the temperature will be increased. All right, so the next one is an endothermic reaction. So endothermic means it absorbs the heat from the surrounding. Okay, just now exothermic, it releases heat to the surrounding. But for endothermic, it, it absorbs heat from, uh, from the surrounding. So example, if you bake a cake okay, in the oven. So when you bake a cake in the oven, it is endothermic because it absorbs the heat energy from the surrounding, okay, to bake the cake. Okay, so that is the endothermic reaction. Means it takes the heat from the surrounding and the temperature will be, uh, will be decreased. Okay, so the reaction that absorbs heat from the surrounding. So when this reaction occurs, the reactant, reactant will gain heat from the surrounding. So the container in, in the contents in the container become cooled. So as a result, the container also feel cool when you touch or shows a lower temperature when measured with a thermometer, okay? So the total energy content of the product is more than the total energy content of the reactant. So because you absorb the heat, right? So mean there is an addition of energy. So after the reaction. So it means there is more, okay, the before... Uh, after the reaction, the heat energy after the reaction is higher than before reaction, okay? So, example of the endothermic reaction is a photosynthesis, right? So, photosynthesis, it, uh, it needs to absorb the light energy, right? Okay, so that one is a photo, uh, it's an example of the endothermic, okay? Baking a cakes, okay? Dissol dissolving aluminium nitrate powder in the water, Okay, break down the reaction of metal carbonates and making the instant pull pack. Okay, so this is the example of the endothermic. Okay. Right, so photosynthesis because you know it absorbs the light energy. You see, so light energy is actually the heat, right? It's a form of heat. So this is the example of the uh, endothermic. Okay, baking a cake. Right. So that's all about the endothermic and exothermic. So I will show you a video example, okay, to make you uh, understand better. Okay, wait for a moment. Any question you want to ask? Okay, exothermic and endothermic reaction. In this video, we are going to look at exothermic and endothermic reactions. So what are they? How are they different? What about their energy levels? In the next couple of minutes, you'll know everything you need to get started. An exothermic reaction gives off energy to the surroundings, like this fire giving off heat. Whereas an endothermic reaction takes in energy from its surroundings, like this poor melting snowman Okay, energy. melting of ice also remember, is endothermic. External means external, so giving out. And endo means internal, so taking in. Let's start by having a quick look. Because exothermic reactions transfer energy to the surroundings, and this energy is usually heat energy, they cause the surroundings to heat up, just like a bonfire keeping everyone warm. Other examples of exothermic reactions are the neutralization reactions between acids and alkalis. Neutralization, acid and alkali. And respiration. So respiration produces heat, right? So you can see how does the, what is the proof that actually respiration produces heat? So example is very easy. You can take a mirror okay, and try to, uh, uh, it's heal, okay? And then you can see there is form of water vapor, okay, on the mirror. So that means you produce the heat energy, okay? Watch the hydrochloric acid 
and sodium hydroxide solution being mixed and see how the thermometer increases. Most chemical reactions are exothermic because heat is given out. Physical processes can also be endothermic or exothermic. When something freezes, it goes from liquid to solid. Bonds need to be made for this to happen. And to make bonds, you need to do some work. Thus, energy is given out and freezing is exothermic. Okay, so this one I already uh, explained. Okay. Again, bonds need to be made. And so energy is given out. So freezing and condensation are both exothermic. Because in exothermic reactions, energy is given out to the surroundings. This means that energy of the reactants is higher and the energy of the products, hence the energy. Okay, so for this one, you don't need to know. Okay, this is not in your syllabus. Okay, this is better when you form four, uh, you will let, right? If you take chemistry. Endothermic reactions take in energy from the surroundings. So it takes energy from the surrounding and absorbs the energy. The energy being transferred is usually heat. So in endothermic reactions, the surroundings usually get colder. So the surrounding will get colder Again, and the temperature is decreasing. Because the temperature would get colder. Some examples of endothermic reactions are electrolysis, the reaction between sodium carbonate and ethanolic acid, and photosynthesis. Endothermic reactions can also be seen in physical processes. Where something melts, it goes from a solid to a liquid. For this to happen, bonds need to be broken. And to break okay, bonds, so this one I already explained. Like our melting snow. Like Boiling this one. Okay, I already explained heat absorb, heat release. For the liquid to turn to gas. Because in endothermic reactions, so for this one, you don't need to know. This one is actually when you form four, then you will learn about this one, the energy level. Okay. So what you need to know, okay, only uh, only what is the endothermic and exothermic? What is the example? Okay. So that's uh the only thing that you need to know for the exothermic and endothermic. So let's take a look for a while for this part, right? So this one is a heat absorb. So mean heat absorb is the Exothermic, right? Exothermic. Okay, so for the heat release is a endothermic. Okay, so this one heat absorb uh, is the, sorry, heat absorb is the endothermic. Okay, for the heat release is the end, uh, exothermic. Okay, uh, so you need to know which one is the uh, exothermic and which one is the endothermic. Okay. So let's do another, let's take a look for another one. Okay. Okay. So wait. Right, so let's, I, I share first. The exothermic and endothermic reaction. First, we are going to uh, do an endothermic reaction. So endothermic okay, reaction barium first. Barium hydroxide. Okay, barium hydroxide. And, uh, ammonium chloride together. So I'm going to put... Okay, barium hydroxide and uh, natrium chloride. So it will react the natrium chloride with the barium hydroxide. Some barium hydroxide in this beaker. And in another beaker... I will add ammonium chloride. So ammonium chloride. Okay, so I just fast forward to see the reaction. Okay, so they put the water now, here. So later here. you can okay. see what happened to the water. Okay, on the water uh, on the top of the block, the wooden block. I'm placing the temperature sensor to record the temperature before. So this is the, the temperature the sensor. Reaction. So that we. It is now. Uh, the temperature will put will come out here, right? So now I'm going to add the barium, uh, the ammonium chloride. Okay, the ammonium chloride. So you stir it. The reaction is very fast. The temperature started to drop. Okay, so you can see the temperature started to drop. It's 
going to go below zero. At it's this very point, cold. Water will freeze. Okay, eh? so the water. So negative nine point three, negative ten point two. So the water keep uh, the temperature keep decreasing. So it's like uh, a white uh, liquid now. Yeah. And the beaker is very cold. Okay, so let's see what will happen to the water on the top of the wooden block. I will just fast forward. Okay, so you see it froze, right? So the water become uh solid now, it become ice. I hardly try to so means it's separate them. It's just sticking. So and this one is uh, endothermic. Okay, endothermic reaction. Right? Okay, I'll try to keep it for a while. Okay, so here we go. So you see an ice so is formed there. The beaker turned to ice. Yeah, because this is so this is the endothermic reaction. It absorb heat from the surrounding, so the surrounding become cold. This is an okay. endothermic reaction. This experiment turned to Okay, so let's try another reaction. one. This is a uh, exothermic well, reaction. The second experiment uh, is to show an exothermic uh, chemical reaction I so the mix means the uh, release heat to the surrounding so it's supposed the thermometer the temperature and of the thermometer will rise uh, concentrated sulfuric acid to it so first we're recording the temperature it is uh, so this is the initial uh, temperature 22 degrees celsius now you're gonna hear the sound of uh, the bubbles of gas forming This is a sulfuric acid. It's so you add the sulfuric acid. The beaker is turning hot. So you can see the temperature, the temperature increasing. Is increasing. So this is the exothermic. So it releases heat to the surrounding. So that's why the temperature keep rising. Degrees Celsius. So this is also another example. This is an example to demonstrate an exothermic reaction. Okay, so that's the exothermic and endothermic. Okay, so I hope you are clear about the exothermic and endothermic reaction. Okay, so I will do a short quiz, right, before I stop, okay? So I will call uh, anyone, okay, to answer the questions. So we got like 12 questions here, I think. Okay, the first one, Po Chin Yi. So what's the answer for this one? The diagram shows the bread dough is put into an oven to be baked. So which statements are correct about the baking process? Choose more than one answer. Po Chin Yi. Are you here? Yes. So what's the answer for number one? Q. 
three and four. Thermal equilibrium achieved when the bread is cooked and the heat from the oven is absorbed by the dough. Okay, let's see whether it's correct or not. So there's another one that is endothermic. Okay, because it heat the absorb being here, uh, the heat is absorbed from the surrounding, right? So it should be endothermic reaction. So one more that you are you missing the answer. Okay, so the next one is Lung Yi Heng. Okay, Lung Yi Heng. Right, Lung Yi Heng. What's the answer for this one? Respiration is an exothermic reaction. So which of the following explain the process? Exothermic number two, release heat to the environment. Okay, correct. Very good. Okay, the next question. Wang Ying Si. Okay, what happened when the heat energy is absorbed? Heat energy is absorbed. What happened? One, bond formation occurs. So heat energy is absorbed. Are you sure? The answer is bro, bro, bond breakage occurs. Example like solid to liquid, right? So solid to liquid, you absorb the heat from the surrounding. So that is the absorb endothermic. So for this one, means it has to break the bond. If they say from the solid to liquid, it need to break the bond. So it need to absorb the heat. Okay, so which reaction explains about the exothermic reaction? So, Yan Kezin. Yan, Yan Kezin. So, which action explains about the exothermic reaction? Exothermic reaction. Which reaction explain the exothermic reaction? Are you here? Yan Kaysing? Number three. Thermometer reading decrease. Exothermic. Exothermic. The one if you see the video just now, the first one is an endothermic reaction. So you can see the thermometer is decreasing, right? So for the second one, second experiment is the exothermic reaction. Okay. So that one you can see the uh, the, bub the gas bubble is popped. So that one is the temperature is decreasing. Are you sure? The temperature is decreasing. You see the video just now, right? For isothermic reaction, is it the temperature reading decrease? Okay, never mind. This is your answer, right? So let's see if it's correct or not. The surrounding temperature increase. You can see the, the initial temperature is 20 degrees, right, in the video. Then after that, it increasing until 40. So it means that one is release the heat to the surrounding. So that's why the temperature of the thermometer is increasing. Okay, so the next one is... Um, Next question, Wong Pui Yen. So the temperature of the substance in the reaction remains constant after reach the thermal equilibrium. Is it true or false? Are you here?
true. Okay, good. Okay, thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium means the temperature is same. Okay, for the two objects that is in thermal contact. So the diagram shows submission process that occur in the dry ice. So the pro this process is endothermic. Why? Okay, so the next question is Kua Wei Chun. Kua Wei Chun. Are you here? Kua Wei Chun. Number four. So dry ice absorb heat from surrounding. Correct? So endothermic is absorb heat. Uh, isothermic release heat. So which process does not involve the release of heat energy? Okay, the next question goes to Chen Junyan. Chen Junyan. Okay, uh, for the monitor, please take the attendance. Okay, so don't forget. Which one is the release of heat energy? Which one is the release of the heat energy? Means release the hot heat energy, you will feel hot because the temperature of the surrounding is increasing. So this one is does not involve. Number two, the formation of ice. Okay. The answer is the melting of butter. Okay, because you need to absorb the heat for surrounding. So the surrounding will become cold. Okay, where the heat will be absorbed. So the temperature of the surrounding become uh, decreasing. So which statement is correct about the endothermic reaction? So endothermic reaction, the question goes to Ao Yang Pei Ying. Ao Yang Pei Ying. Endothermic reaction. Which statement is correct? Endothermic means it absorbs the heat from the surrounding. Number four. Endothermic reaction. Surrounding temperature increase. Endothermic, it's uh, absorb the heat from the surrounding, right? So, means the surrounding, the temperature from surrounding will become decreased. Okay, not increase. If you release the heat to the surrounding, then the surrounding temperature will increase. Okay, that one is exothermic. So, endothermic is, uh, is which one? Okay, so let's see. This is the answer, your answer, right? The answer is to break the chemical bond of the reactant. Okay, so let's say from the solid to liquid just now, you have to absorb, okay, the heat from the surrounding to break the bond. Okay, let's say for just now from solid to liquid. Okay, so you can see the solid is much closer, right? So for the liquid, it moves freely. So it needs to break the bond so it can move freely. So that's why you need an energy so it can break the bond. So when you uh, when you absorb the heat from surrounding, that means there is an endothermic. Okay. If so, you release the heat. You can feel it's hot. Okay. So how can we identify the absorption of heat has occurred? So the next one is Derek Derek Ng Leng uh, Leng Kiet. How can we identify that the absorption, absorption of heat has occurred? Number four. So when you absorb the heat, how can the surrounding can become uh, heat? You already take the heat from outside, right? So means the container cannot become heat, it will become colder, right? Okay, so the answer should be what? The answer should be... This one. Okay, I will explain again later. Okay, before we stop. Okay, endothermy is the reaction that absorb heat. Okay, so we go to the next one. Uh, Chuk Pei Ling. Chuk Pei Ling. So what's the answer? Endothermy is the reaction about the absorb heat. Is it correct? 
true. Okay, good. Okay, number 11. Uh, Tong Ming Dong. Breaking the chemical bond release energy. Breaking the chemical bond release energy. Is it correct? False. Very good. Okay. Breaking the bond, you need to absorb the energy. Because you need to break the bond. So, it means you need energy to break the bond. So, that's why you need to absorb the energy. Okay, very good. So, which of the following is the endothermic reaction? Last one. Uh, Yim Ziyu. Okay, which of the following is the endothermic reaction? Endothermic means it absorbs the heat. So, when you absorb the heat, the heat, uh, the surrounding become cold. Okay, or and then the temperature is decreasing. So, which one? Yim Ziyu, are you here? Photosynthesis. Okay, photosynthesis means you absorb the light energy. So the light energy is actually in the form of heat. So correct. Very good. Okay, so now I will do a, like a summarize. Okay. What do you actually the endothermic and exothermic? So endothermic. So endothermic means you absorb heat. Okay, from surrounding. Okay, for surrounding. So when you absorb the heat from the surrounding, so your surrounding will become colder. Surrounding become cold. All right? The temperature decrease. Okay, the temperature decrease. Okay, and this for the endothermic, okay, for the endothermic is actually you need to because you absorb the heat, right? So this one is to break the bond of molecule. The energy is used to break the bond of the molecule so it can move freely. Okay, for the exothermic. Okay, it releases heat from uh, to the surrounding. So when you release the heat from the surrounding, so you will feel hot. Okay, so the surrounding become become hot. So the temperature will increase. Okay, the temperature of surrounding will increase. Okay, and this one is to form the bond of molecule. So just they say just now from gas to liquid. Okay, you can see the gas, the gas, uh, the arrangement of the molecule of the gas is very far away, very further, right? So, if you want to make it closer, you need to form a bond between them. So, this one you need to release the heat, okay? Release the heat also, and then the surrounding will become hot because you release the heat to the surrounding. So, this is the endothermic and the exothermic reaction, okay? So, I hope you are clear. Okay, so if any question, you can ask teacher, okay? Uh, and then please do the assignment that I assigned to you, okay? And uh, please uh, follow the instruction that I gave, all right? And you already know that this one, you don't have a PT3, right? So all this will be taken as your, uh, to know which class are you in form 4 later. So please take it seriously, okay? Do it well, okay? So I'll see you uh, on the next class. Okay, we go to the chapter 6 after this. And for the tutorial, I will give you the handout. We will discuss the question on chapter 5. Okay, the objective and the structure question. I will send in the GC and also in the uh, group class. Okay, so thank you class. All right. Right, welcome. Bye.
Bis dann.